This is Fred Lears of Health Products Distributors and another Creating Health Naturally video. And today, I am showing how to combine two of my favorite hydrogen products with my favorite product for alkalinizing the body, which is known as pH Adjust. I'll give you a quick little look at them and then I'll dive into the, the benefits of each and why I came up with this kind of concoction um, in which I combine hydrogen products with pH Adjust alkalinizing formula. So the first one I'll show you here is pH Adjust. This is a very unique product and it is formulated to allow your body to become more alkaline. We live in a society in which through a lot of means, whether it's uh, dietary or stress, primarily dietary, um, we are, find ourselves in an acidic condition. Many people are, are overly acidic and they may not even realize it. Furthermore, and it's uh, something I've come to more recently, this will also provide um, bicarbonates and I'll get into the ingredients in a minute. Um, and as we age, we lose bicarbonate reserves. We just don't have the reserves of bicarbonates um, that we had when we were younger. And this replenishes those bicarbonates. And bicarbonates, in addition to minerals, um, will be able to buffer acidity in a spectacular way. And so this, this product is really, really good at getting your pH levels where they need to be, which is between about 7.35 and 7.45 on the pH scale. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Now, um, I've done videos before on these, but these are, these are a couple of my favorite hydrogen products. Um, the first is Patrick Flanagan's Mega Hydrate. Get a good look at that. This is a product that's been around for quite some time. Um, it is well known uh, for um, providing um, hydride, which is the hydrogen negative anion, excuse me, the hydrogen negative ion, which is also known as the anion, and it's a powerful antioxidant, and you can put this in water, um, and it holds its charge for, uh, I've heard, up to three weeks. It gives a very powerful uh, negative ORP. Um, it can get down to minus 750 or, or even more in a matter of minutes, and of course when you drink it, then it provides those uh, hydrogen negative ions to your body and that those can are extremely powerful free radical scavengers and the nice thing about this particular product is is like I mentioned it it can hold its charge for three weeks so you could put this in water and, and you could sip it all day not being too concerned about having to quaff it down rapidly because it's just gonna be sitting in there holding its holding its charge now the other hydrogen product I wanted to mention is a product I really love, and uh, this is the Active H2 Ultra. Now, the difference between this and the Mega Hydrate is this is actually a molecular hydrogen, and that would be um, H2. And the way this product works is it actually has um, ingredients that will react with one another to create molecular hydrogen. Um, this particular product, these are tablets, you will also put in fluid, like water. They react and they fizz in about a minute. They react, they have their exothermic reaction, then you drink it down immediately before all those hydrogen, hydrogen molecules go floating away because hydrogen is a real tiny little molecule and it has this, it's an escape artist and it can go right through glass, um, it can go through many containers, but of course, hydrogen being such a small molecule, this is why you want to take it, because it's an antioxidant that can get into the tiniest compartments in your cells, even into the nucleus of the cell, and exert its antioxidant um, properties. And so it kind of makes it unique, being an antioxidant, an electron donor, at the, at the um, smallest of levels, um, is something that most nutrients, uh, most antioxidants simply can't do, which is why we take these products. So what I was going to say is, historically, um, I used to take these separately. I would, you know, drink my mega hydrate, say, I don't know, during the day, and then maybe in, like, maybe in the mornings I might have some, some of these um, active H2 tablets, but I got to playing with them and I discovered that I really like taking them together 
because I could put the mega hydrate in the water, you know, let it let it sit for a minute or two, and then I could add the tablets, um, the active H2 tablets, and that let that have its exothermic reaction, and then just drink the whole thing down immediately and get the benefit of both. And boy, I really feel like you you you, you double your benefit. Um, and so. The nice thing also about the mega hydrate is it's an H minus. Once it expands its electron, it becomes H, and then it's attra it attracts itself to um, another hydrogen, and it becomes molecular hydrogen. So these these products actually share some um, some properties, but they are distinctly different. Whereas the active H two just gives you the molecular hydrogen, also a powerful antioxidant. But you can't really go wrong. So. Now we have our three products. So I had already been taking the hydrogen products together, and then I thought, well, I'm already taking the pH adjust every day. Why not just try all three? And um, so that's what I'm gonna show you here in a minute. And I really like this formula when you combine all three formulas. Um, what you get actually is all the benefits of the hydrogen. It's a extremely potent antioxidant which I've mentioned. Um, it's also highly energizing. It, it, it's, uh, it goes into the body and one of, the, one of the subjective qualities is it gives you more energy. And so a lot of people are taking hydrogen these days for that reason. Um, and the pH adjust gives you a more balanced drink. Now, for example, I have tested the pH of these hydrogen products. If you put mega hydrate in water, it typically will drive the alkalinity up. It could go as high as, say, 9. And there's nothing wrong with drinking mega hydrate, um, you know, at the level of a 9 for a typical person because that's just going to bring their overall alkalinity up. Um, however, if you're already alkaline or if you want to do this multiple times per day, um, what you might find is, is when you add the pH adjust, it might actually just bring that down a little because what pH adjust actually does is, if some, something's too acidic, it tends to bring the, uh, the pH level up to make it more alkaline. But if something is extremely alkaline, which, like I said, could be a good thing, however, you, you know, if you have a lot of alkaline drinks, it could push you in toward a state of of alkalosis, which isn't good either. But the nice thing about pH adjust is it tends to bring you, wherever you are, down or up to that level of about 7.35 to 7.45. So if I'm doing, say, a couple, two, three of these hydrogen drinks a day, which I don't normally do, but if I were to, I would definitely feel better about having those, those bicarbonates in there and, and keeping that pH right in the level where you want it. Um, so, I also wanted to mention that the active H2 actually might actually make your water more acidic. It wouldn't necessarily drive it into, say, a super acid range, um, but the items in here that react with one another, since it's it's a kind of a it's a reactive product, generally have a tendency to, um, if you know, all things being equal with with an alkaline water. A couple of these tablets, a tablet or two, would probably bring the um, the pH down somewhat. So, that, so one of the reasons of taking all three together is to make sure that you're gonna getting getting your alkalinity in, um, your alkalinizing formula, which is the pH adjust, which will keep things really even keel, no matter where you're at with your water and your tablets, and the hydrogen, of course, then. Um, giving you all the wonderful antioxidant benefits and energizing qualities of the hydrogen. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how I do this every day. So what I will typically do is start off with a mug or a cup, not infrequently a mason jar. And, you know, I'll put in at least eight ounces, sometimes more, depending on the season, if I need more hydration in the morning, depending. So here I have a couple cups of water. I'm just going to pour, oh, maybe about 12 ounces in there. Just don't need me. Oh, heck, let's just go for all 16. <laughs> you don't have to use 16. You can, you could do eight. 
Okay, so now I am going to take my pH adjust. And, you know, it comes with a scoop. And so here's the scoop. Let me just show it to you. Empty scoop. And um, this is the pH adjust. And so it's a fluffy white powder. It goes easily into solution. Um, it actually tastes mild. Some people say it tastes good. It's got a little of potassium glycinate in it. And in fact, the ingredients are, in order, potassium bicarbonate, magnesium carbonate, potassium glycinate, and sodium bicarbonate. And so compared to, say, taking a baking soda solution, which will also alkalinize you, you get a lot less sodium and relatively more potassium. Um, and you still get all the benefits of the bicarbonates. So this goes readily into solution, as I said. These scoops are about a half a teaspoon. So I, I generally keep half teaspoon measures around, but since I've measured this many times, I'm just going to be able to put this into solution. But before I actually do, I'm going to test the pH of the water um, as is. So here's my uh, pH paper roll. And you can see there's a little indicator on here showing that um, in the acid range, it's more yellow, and then into the green, 5.5 and above. And then at the very far end is 8.0. That's actually quite alkaline. You're actually looking for, say, 7.4 to 7.6, which, which are these two squares right here, which if you look really closely in the color, is actually pretty blue. You know, it's it maybe slightly greenish blue, but it's really more in the darker range. So I'm going to test my water because, and I, and I, I periodically test my water. And um, so I'm just pulling off a little strip from the roll. And I'm going to dip it in the water. Okay, so you can see from here that this water um, is not particularly alkaline. Okay, so, you know, it it's colored a bit yellow-green. And if you look on here, uh, I'm going to say that's about a six. You know, it varies on here, but it's about a six, you can see, on the range here. I don't know if you can, how well you can actually see that. <laughs> okay. But so, okay, so that it's the water. This is my water. Um, I have different ways of generating water, um, and I'm a little surprised that it's a six, but so that is, um, you know, you, you want water ideally that is slightly alkaline. So this is not by any stretch of the imagination, alkaline water. But we're about to see what pH adjust and hydrogen combination will do. And I think I'll measure the pH as I go. So I'm just going to add in my pH adjust. So here, I'm gonna put in a full half a scoop. So that's right about to the edge there. Okay. So it's fizzing a little. It doesn't really have much effervescence. It, it pretty much just goes in. In fact, I will, I will help it along just by stirring. You can get a mild amount of caking on the bottom, but usually that would be after it sat for a number of hours or even overnight. It's just not going to be a problem. And in fact, sometimes I don't stir. I just swish it around a little. But really, you don't even need to do that. Okay, so um, that was one serving of pH adjust. So half as a scoop. There's actually 250 servings in this container. So that means there's 250 grams in here, which is going to last you a number of months, even if you take uh, a couple of servings a day. So, you know, as long as we're in the pH test mode, um, I'm going to pull off another test strip here from my roll, my handy dandy roll. These are inexpensive, $10 probably for a roll, and this you get enough, I don't know how many feet you get in this, but that's hundreds of pH tests. And I highly actually recommend keeping some around because, you know, you probably won't be testing um, every day. But it, it's nice to know. It's nice to know what your, the pH of your water is, what, what, the, what the pH of pH adjust will do to your water, etc. Okay, so I'm going to, so now I put one serving, one scoop in, um, in 16 ounces of water, which is probably more than the recommended amount according to the directions. But, you know, I like to hydrate. So I'm going to stick this in here. Whoopee. Wow. <laughs> 
Okay, I didn't stick it in there very long. But as you can see, I've demonstrated these things before. So now it certainly looks like we are in the range. See, we're definitely a 7. We're definitely a 7, probably even a little higher than that. So we're somewhere between 7 and 7.2, seven, and I just dipped it quickly. So um, let me show you that. Okay. Now consider also that your water may not be as acidic as mine. I, we just went from a 6 to over a 7, um, maybe a 7.2, maybe even higher, which is where you want to be. Okay. So now I have the first layer. Now, there's no particular order in which you have to actually put these in, except, obviously, you wouldn't want to put the, the tablet that reacts, the active um, H2 tablets, in first, because your hydrogen is they're going to bubble out in a minute, <laughs> and then your hydrogen's gone. So reserve your uh, active H2 for last, like I do. Okay, so then um, my next layer will be my mega hydrate. So this will be the first of our two hydrogen products. Um, I'm using capsules right now. They're really pretty small. Um, they do sell. Um, it does come in a powder. I also like the powder. The powder is kind of no muss, no fuss, except it doesn't really travel as well. So especially if I'm traveling, it's nice to have these capsules because, uh, you know, and they're small. Um, the powder is, you know, it's, it's, it's a full container of powder. So um, when you first start using it, it, it has some weight and God help you, you wouldn't want to get water in it or something. It's very convenient to use the, the powder form um, if you have it. But right now I'm just going to open up a capsule and you could even open up a couple of capsules. That would just give you even more um, hydrogen negative ions. Okay, so I'm opening it up and it comes out really easily from the capsule. And it, yeah, you can hear it. it's just a slight effervescing. I only really let these fizz out for a minute because that's really, I mean, I don't think you can really see that all that well, but it's pretty much, it's already in solution, which is convenient because between the pH adjust and the mega hydrate, I can do that in pretty much less than a minute. I just go put the pH adjust in, then put the mega hydrate in, and then we're pretty much ready for our hydrogen tablets. Now, um, I'm also now going to test the pH of the water with the pH adjust and the mega hydrate in it. And from what my experience tells me, um, we're going to take something that's already quite alkaline, and I am guessing it's going to be at least as alkaline as it was, and perhaps even more alkaline. Okay, so let us take another pH strip and stick it in. Okay, so again, I just did a very quick dip, and you can see it's still really blue. Um, it's hard to see if it's any any more blue, but I believe it's just slightly more. Now, if we gave this a uh, chance maybe to sit a little longer, I don't know, it might go a little bluer, but I'm thinking, you know, we're definitely over 7.2, um, now maybe pushing into the 7.4 range, you can see on the indicators. Okay? All right. So now, all that's left to do is put in our hydrogen, molecular hydrogen um, tablets, which are the active H2 Ultra tablets, my favorite brand of molecular hydrogen. Okay, so I'm gonna take out a couple of these, and um, you can see they're really not all that big. They're not tiny, but you know, they're pretty small. They, um, they're shiny, and the reason they're shiny is because they have metallic magnesium in there. It's an alkali metal, and this is the metal that will react with the other ingredients. And so if I look on here, you know, it's a proprietary blend of, um, basically, it's uh, got uh, the hydrogen matrix, which will be the ingredients that will make the hydrogen, uh, molecular hydrogen, and it's got tartaric acid and some stearic acid, and some malic acid. And um, those acids will react with the, the base metal and create, um, it's an alkaline metal, will then create the reaction that releases the hydrogen. 
So I'm um, not going to get too much into the science here, but that's sort of a, an overview. You can certainly go on the uh, Water and Wellness website and read more about Active H2 Ultra and, and all the ins and outs of how it works. Suffice it to say, by the way, that not many hydrogen products on the market can fizz out um, fully effervesce in a minute. And the problem with tablets that take five minutes, of course, is that by the time it's all finished effervescing, a lot of that hydrogen is gone. Of course, they will recommend capping it and doing it, say, in a certain type of metal bottle versus, say, glass. But even so, you want it, you want it to fizz out and, and drink it, which is your, what you're going to see me do. Okay, so I'm just going to plunk these in. I got my two tablets. Drop them in, and I don't have a timer, but you will see um, that it's not taking very long. So look, we already got a really nice fizz. And I can hear it's bubbling, it's tiny bubbles <laughs> bubbling away. I don't know if you can hear that from the microphone. It's actually got a very pleasant sound. And um, let's see if we can turn this. There, You can actually see the tablet here, and it's re it's reacting, and um, it's disappearing actually. And hydrogen is filling this container, especially the water in the container. So it has definitely fizzed out, and um, I'm going to do one final test from my pH paper. Okay. So let's, um, you know, I'm not expecting any big reaction here in, in terms of like a change in the pH, but I just want to demonstrate um, that it, it will remain alkaline, which is the whole point of drinking this drink. So let's just test it real quick. Okay, I got it in there. And, you know, I mentioned that it's possible that the, um, the, re that the ingredients um, in the active H2 that caused the reaction could cause the, um, the pH level to, to drop somewhat. But I just want to show you, I just tested the, um, I just tested the final mix. And um, you can see it's very, it remains extremely blue, which essentially tells me that it, um, that it basically does not significantly alter the pH of, of the, um, of the drink. Now, if it weren't for the pH adjust, that might be different, and that'll have to. I'll reserve that test for another time. Suffice it to say that I have tested the um, the the uh, the active H two um, in water, and there have been times when it has actually um, lowered the pH and made it a little more acidic. So I'm going to drink this now because I don't want to wait around long. I mean, I probably already waited a few seconds longer than I would normally, but I'm going to drink this down. Boy, is that good. Ah, that is refreshing and energizing and hydrating. I mean, literally think about the definition of hydration. It's full of hydrogen, hydrogen ions, which hydrate you. Um, in addition to helping to alkalinize you, because think about if you think about the definition of, um, of pH and the hydrogen ion concentration, what you're doing basically by giving yourself a combination of pH adjust and these hydrogen products together, although you could take either one of these with pH adjust by themselves, they're great standalone products by themselves or to be used with pH adjust. I just happen to have come up with a, a combination that I think is a real winner. The combination of pH adjust, mega hydrate, and active H2, um, kind of added in that order to, to um, 8 to 16 ounces of liquid or whatever amount of liquid you like, can d definitively energize you, can definitively alkalinize you, and can definitively give you that powerful antioxidant capacity to quench free radicals that come from that extremely tiny hydrogen hydrogen molecule and that extremely tiny hydrogen ion which work together they work together they're different but they work together 
So this has been Fred Lears of Health Products Distributors and another Creating Health Naturally video. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, you can click like on the video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for Health Products Distributors. We also have a website, www.integratedhealth.com and a blog. So um, check all those out. Um, and um, again, this has been Fred Lears. Uh, it's been great to be here doing this and catch you next time. Thank you.